Hello friends, now we are solving the last example from this exercise uh, 5.4 and in this example here condition is related with what perpendicular lines, two lines are perpendicular. So first we will discuss one important condition which is satisfying by direction ratios of two lines if two lines are what perpendicular. So let the direction ratio of first line is say A1, B1, C1. If A1, B1, C1 are the direction ratio of first line and A2, B2, C2 are the direction ratios of what second line. Second line or we can say that these are the direction ratios of two vectors or two lines. If the direction ratio of a line is given to us then vector along that line is I am denoting A bar be the vector along line first. So value of A bar is A1 I cap plus B1 J cap plus C1 K cap and value of B bar will be equals to B bar is the vector along line second. From this direction ratio we will get the vector along the line that is A2 I cap plus B2 J cap plus C2 K cap. Already we have discussed that if vector along the line is given to us then coefficient of i cap, j cap, k cap are direction ratios or if direction ratios are given to us we are able to find out vector along that line. Now uh, if two vectors are given to us then what is the formula to find out angle between them cos theta is equal to a bar dot b bar upon magnitude of a bar into magnitude of b bar. So in the numerator we are finding dot product of these two vectors. Now if vectors are represented in Cartesian form at that time dot product is a1 a2 first take the product of coefficient of i cap plus b1 b2 means product of coefficient of j cap plus c1 c2 means product of coefficient of k cap upon under root under root what magnitude of uh, a bar so its magnitude is equal to a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square into under root now we are finding magnitude of second vector so its say magnitude is a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square applying this formula we are able to find out angle between two vector here we have taken mod means we are finding an acute angle means if two line intersect each other at that time if one angle between them is or acute means other angle is what obtuse whenever we are giving mod means our interest is to find out what acute angle between two lines now this condition is uh, or this is the formula to find out what angle between angle between what two lines if the direction ratios are given to us and if the lines are perpendicular if the lines are perpendicular at that time definitely this theta will be equals to what 90 degree and cos 90 is equal to what 0 so this side will become 0 this term will get multiplied to 0 if this condition is satisfying if theta is equal to what 90 means if lines are what perpendicular so then this this side will become 0 and 0 into this term will become what 0 this denominator will get multiplied on this side means value of which expression is 0 so that a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 is equals to what 0 so this condition is satisfying if the lines are what perpendicular and this condition is satisfying by what direction ratio of two lines or we can say that direction ratios of two vector if the two vectors are perpendicular or we can say that if two lines are perpendicular now we are discussing condition for lines to be what parallel now if two lines are parallel means this vector along the lines are also parallel and we know that if two vectors are parallel and if the vectors are represented in what Cartesian form and if these two vectors are parallel at that time ratio of coefficient of i cap will be equals to ratio of coefficient of j cap will be equals to uh, ratio of coefficient of k cap these ratios are what equal uh, but here as it stands these are nothing but what direction ratios of two lines and if direction ratio satisfies which condition a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 is equal to c1 upon c2 means if ratios are equal we can say that values are in proportion but these are nothing but direction ratios means if lines are parallel we can say that direction ratios are uh, are in proportion and if lines are perpendicular at that time direction ratio satisfies which condition a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 is equal to 0 means see direction ratio of two vectors or two lines are given to us this formula is applicable to find out angle between them this is the condition which is satisfying if two lines or two vectors are perpendicular and this condition is satisfying if two vectors or two lines are parallel to each other so note down this condition now using this condition for lines to be what perpendicular we are solving this example
So well, observe the given condition in this example. Here, coordinate of two points are given to us, are two points. Then find the foot of perpendicular drawn from point B to the line joining the origin and the point A. So let us try to draw one rough sketch here. A perpendicular is drawn from point B, where coordinate of point B are 4, 5, 6 on a line which passes throughout origin and a point A where coordinate of point A are given to us its coordinates are 1, 2, 3. Now a perpendicular is drawn from which point B? A perpendicular find the foot of perpendicular from the point B means perpendicular is drawn from which point B or to the line joining origin and the point A. So this is the line which join the origin and the point A. So perpendicular is drawn from this point. So let us denote this foot of perpendicular by what? M. So what is our supposition? M be the foot of perpendicular drawn from point B on line uh, OA, where O is nothing but origin. Now question is to find out foot of this perpendicular, means our aim is to find out coordinate of point M. So whatever may be our supposition here, write down all these things. What is given condition here? Coordinate of two points are given to us. Coordinate of point A are 1, 2, 3 and coordinate of point B are 4, 5, 6. We are supposing that let M be the foot of perpendicular. M be the foot of perpendicular drawn from point B on line on line OA. Isn't it? So already we have shown all these things in the figure. Now I am supposing that this point M, our aim is to find out what coordinate of point M and M is foot of perpendicular. So this point M lies on which line? OA. So definitely it will divide this segment OA in some ratio and let us denote this ratio by what? Lambda is to 1. So and let point M, point M divides segment OA in the ratio, in the ratio lambda is to 1. So this is our supposition that point M divides this segment in the ratio what lambda is to 1. So therefore applying section formula we are able to find out coordinate of point M. So what is the, how to apply section formula mx2 plus nx1 upon m plus n such type of formula already you have studied in your earlier classes in coordinate geometry. Here O is origin. So what are the coordinate of origin? 0, 0, 0. So what we will get mx2 means lambda into 1 means lambda plus nx1 means 1 into 0 is 0. Means what we are getting? Lambda plus 0 means lambda upon m plus n, m plus n means what? Lambda plus 1. So this result we have got applying section formula. So whatever may be the method we are applying to find out x coordinate, same method is applicable to find out y coordinate. That m y 2 plus n y 1 upon m plus n. Means what we will get here? Lambda into 2 is 2 lambda and 1 into 0 is 0. Means here we will get 2 lambda upon m plus n means lambda plus 1. Lastly, uh, m uh, z uh, 2 so means 3 lambda plus 1 into 0 will be 0 not necessary write 0 here upon lambda plus 1. So applying section formula we have got the coordinate of point M and question is also to find out what foot of perpendicular foot of perpendicular we have denoted by which point M. Now to find out the coordinate of this foot of perpendicular we will require the value of what? Lambda. Once the value of lambda is known to us substitute the value of lambda and try to find out coordinate of point M where M is nothing but what? Foot of perpendicular and that is our question to find out what? Foot of perpendicular. Means hope you have got it. Now to find out this coordinate of foot of perpendicular we have to find out value of lambda. Now using given condition. Now we can observe that here line BM and line OA are perpendicular to each other and just now we have seen one condition which is satisfying if two lines are what? Perpendicular by what? Direction ratios of two lines. So first find out direction ratio of these two lines. So direction ratios of line of line OA are. So observe the coordinate of OR 0 0 0 and A is 1, 2, 3. 
we know that if coordinate of two point on the line is given to us at that time direction ratios can be find out as x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 and z2 minus z1 already we have seen all the result related with direction ratios and direction cosine so here what we will get x2 minus x1 means 1 y2 minus y1 means 2 minus 0 is 2 and z uh, z2 minus z1 means 3 minus 0 is 3 let us denote these direction ratios by a1 b1 c1 i am denoting it say by a1 b1 c1 so direction ratio of one line oa is known to us now find out direction ratio of second line that is bm and direction ratios of line bm are so observe the coordinate of two point here coordinate of b is given to us and just now we have got the coordinate of point m and we are finding direction ratio of this line bm again apply the same method that is x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 and z2 minus z1 what we will get x2 minus x1 means lambda upon lambda plus 1 minus 4 y2 minus y1 means 2 lambda upon lambda plus 1 minus y2 minus y1 means 5 and lastly z2 minus z1 means 3 lambda upon lambda plus 1 minus 6 okay so now let us simplify this expression so in every term we are taking what cross multiplication here nothing is in the denominator means 1 is there 1 into lambda is what lambda so that is so lambda and lambda plus 1 into minus 4 is minus 4 lambda minus 4 upon lambda plus 1 okay now here, here see what we will get 1 into 2 lambda is 2 lambda and lambda plus 1 into minus 5 is minus 5 lambda minus 5 upon lambda plus 1 and lastly here take the cross multiplication what we will get here 3 lambda minus 6 lambda minus 6 upon lambda plus 1. So that is, these are nothing but values of what direction ratios, these are ratios, ratios means what we are able to cancel the common factor also. So if you will observe these three terms very carefully, 1 upon 1 plus lambda, 1 upon 1, 1 upon lambda plus 1, 1 upon lambda plus 1, 1 upon lambda plus 1, is it the common factor? So we are, after cancelling the common factor, denominator will get what cancelled because that term will get cancelled. These are the ratios. The ratios means we are able to cancel the common factor. Means remaining term is what numerator. Let us simplify the numerator. Here lambda minus 4 lambda is uh, minus 3 lambda minus 4 keep it as it is. Here we will get 2 lambda minus 5 lambda is minus 3 lambda minus 5. And here 3 lambda minus 6 lambda is minus 3 lambda minus 6. So denote these direction ratios by a2, b2, c2. Let us denote it say by a2, b2, c2. Now direction ratios of line OA are also known to us and BM are also known to us. But if we can observe that these two lines are what? Perpendicular to each other. So since line OA is perpendicular to line BM. And since these two lines are perpendicular, that's why we can say that direction ratio satisfies which condition a1, a2 plus b1, b2 plus c1, c2 is equals to what? 0. So a1, a2. a1, a2 means what? This is a1 means 1. 1 into 1 into a2 is what? Minus 3 lambda minus 4 plus b1, b2. b1 is what? 2 into minus 3 lambda minus 5 plus c1 c2 means 3 into minus 3 lambda minus 6 is equal to 0 keep it as it is now remaining part is to simplify this expression 1 into this term means minus 3 lambda minus 4 multiply by 2 to both the term in this bracket here we will get minus 6 lambda minus 10 multiply by 3 to both the terms in this bracket here we will get minus 9 lambda minus 18 is equal to 0 now collect the terms of lambda um, minus 3 minus 6 minus 9 minus 9 and minus 9 will become minus 18 lambda and collect the remaining term on another side that is minus 18 minus 10 is minus 28 minus 28 minus 4 is minus 32 minus 32 on this side will become plus 32 which implies that lambda is equal to minus 32 upon 18 
implies that lambda will be equals to now both the terms are divisible by 2 so here we will get minus 16 upon 9 once the value of lambda is known to us now remaining part is just to substitute this value of lambda uh, in the coordinate of point m we will get the coordinate just substitute the value of lambda here we will get the coordinate of point m and that is our required value uh, means we have to find out what foot of perpendicular now we are substituting this value of lambda uh, in let us denote it by equation number first or we are substituting this value in equation number first to find out our required value means coordinate of point m now substitute this value of lambda in equation number first so put lambda is equal to minus 16 upon 9 in equation first see what we will get so therefore coordinate of point m will be so in the numerator lambda keep it as it is lambda means what minus 16 upon 9 and in the denominator lambda plus 1 means minus 16 upon 9 plus 1 this is x coordinate y coordinate is 2 lambda but lambda is what minus 16 upon 9 divided by lambda plus 1 means minus 16 upon 9 plus 1 and lastly z coordinate is 3 lambda lambda is what minus 16 upon 9 upon lambda plus 1 means minus 16 upon 9 plus 1 just we have substituted the value of lambda here remaining part is calculation part so observe here very carefully in the numerator minus 16 upon 9 keep it as it is but if you will observe the denominator here we are able to take the cross multiplication 9 ones are 9 minus 16 plus 9 will be minus 7 minus 16 plus 9 is minus 7 upon 9 so here we will get minus 32 upon 9 2 into minus 16 is minus 32 and denominator is same so here also we will get minus 7 by 9 here we will get minus 48 upon 9 divided by minus 7 upon 9 now uh, check whether this 9 9 9 9 will get cancelled after cancelling this 9 9 from numerator and denominator here we will get minus minus will also get cancelled so here 16 upon 7 here 32 upon 7 and here 48 upon 7 are the coordinate of point here uh, answer uh, given given answer in the textbook is different from it uh, but uh, I have tried to solve this example using 2-3 method even uh, we are able to use some tally method also to check whether our answer is correct or not so which tally method again we have, we have to check whether this condition is satisfying or not lines are what perpendicular means a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 is equal to 0 if this condition is satisfying means we can say that our answer is what correct so answer give a given answer does not satisfy this condition means definitely there will be some correction in the given answer so this answer is here absolutely correct